this is Jim Smith of Golden Real Estate. Today I'm showing you Leo Sawyer's listing in the town of Empire. And this, believe it or not, is Main Street. 15 mile an hour speed limit. We're about a quarter mile from the, main, the real Main Street of Empire. And this is 456 Main Street. It's a cabin built around a cabin, so it's really quite big, almost 2,000 square feet on one level with a crawl space. It has this shed next to it and no garage. You park, as you can see, over to the left. Let's walk up the driveway now and enter the house and take a look at it. Pausing at the front of the house, looking back down the driveway, perhaps you can hear with this condenser microphone the stream across the road. It's about the only thing you hear here. Highway noise is practically non-existent. Around this way you have a porch and this is the view from your porch. The porch has a it's a Trex, Trex deck and it has a hole the right size for a and a concrete slab down there the right size for a hot tub and that's the electricity and there is plumbing here as well an outlet for water and that's a door into the house we're not going in that way I just wanted to come over here and give you a sense of the valley view that you have from this porch very peaceful, very pretty. Let's go back around the house and in the front door. Look at the beautiful variety of columbines along this wall as we head back to the front door. The biggest collections of columbines I've seen in a while. So I'm at the front door now and there is a covered porch here as well and a mudroom with, look at these beautiful antique coat hooks that they have here. Love them. Okay, so let's go through the cabin now. Right away you notice that there's baseboard hot water heat. There are three zones of it. We're on a towel floor now. We'll see a variety of woods, hardwoods, softwoods, and, and laminates. Here's on the way to the kitchen, here's your your boiler room with the three zones of plumbing and that's a tankless water heater on the wall, a dryer. There is a gas outlet but not a electrical outlet I believe for the dryer and there's a laundry sink and the washing machine. All appliances are included. Here's the kitchen. We'll step down. It's on ceramic tile. All the windows in the house are double pane by the way. Stainless steel appliances here, the electric range, the dishwasher, and the side-by-side -side refrigerator, as well as the microwave. This room has laminate flooring in it. Here's a pantry. It presently has some building materials in it, but this is a huge pantry. It looks to be about eight feet deep by four feet wide. Put some nice shelving in there and go to Costco to your heart's content. Here's, here's just a, a closet, a walk-in closet filled with stuff. So, but it's the same size as that pantry. It could be used for whatever you want. Go to Sam's Club as well as Costco. Here's what we're calling the master bedroom. It's got a dual closets there and it has a master bath. It has a shower there. Nice tile shower, by the way. Nice. Nice shower. Then a sink and toilet, of course. Brick facing. There. Look, I told you there's lots of wood in here. This looks like cherry hardwood. I don't know what it is, but it is real hardwood. Here's the guest bathroom, a full bath with a shower. The vanity is still being installed. So this we'll call the living room. It has a wood burning fireplace. You see it's a heat later. It's got the air intakes it near the floor and the out, 
outflows at the top. And on the other side of this wall is what the seller was using as an office. And no wonder this has that beautiful view over that back porch. This is a platform for a stove and there's a place for a chimney there. This is the back side of the fireplace and you'll notice the heat later is two-sided so it, it's throwing heat into this room as well. And here's the door to that porch that we were showing you a little while ago. So two guest bedrooms, total of three bedrooms, two baths. Here's, here's that bedroom. Here's like a family room since we already have a living room. Has a pellet stove on it which is not connected but could be. This is the third bedroom or second guest bedroom. And it has a nice size closet as well. And look at the picture window here. Again, just can't get enough of this beautiful view. The only thing this room has, doesn't have that the porch has is the sound of that creek across the road. So that's the house. Let's go out front and wrap it up. Thanks for touring this fine Empire cabin with me today. If you'd like to see it in person, I know Leo would like to show it to you. You can reach him anytime on his cell phone at 720-933-1968 or you can email him at leo at goldenrealestate.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.